Taoiseach, at the last uh, British Irish Council, you expressed regret that uh, no Northern Ireland uh, representatives were present due to the prevailing political impasse in Stormont, which I think is adding to the Brexit difficulties actually for the whole island. There's now a very real prospect of direct rule in Northern Ireland in case of a no-deal Brexit. I think your own Minister for European Affairs was quoted recently as saying that you, as Taoiseach, have always said we would never accept such an outcome. And you yourself have called for real and meaning, meaningful involvement in Northern, uh, uh, in Northern Ireland if dev devolution was not restored with a role for the British-Irish uh, Intergovernmental Conference. So Taoiseach, my question is, did you raise this issue of direct rule with the new British uh, Prime Minister, uh, Boris Johnson, during your recent Dublin meeting? And will you specifically clarify how you intend to respond if direct rule is imposed on Northern Ireland uh, in the wake uh, of uh, a no-deal Brexit? Northern Ireland Secretary Julian Smith um, uh, was talking about a revived Stormont Assembly, that that could be part of the solution to the Brexit impasse. However, he stated the obvious uh, that uh, efforts aimed at securing an agreement to revive power sharing, they've been very difficult because there are issues including the Irish language and culture that need to be resolved. Now, it seems that neither Sinn Féin nor the DUP, at a time of grave political crisis for, for the North, for the whole island, have shown their inability to put the common uh, good above party politics and devise a compromise that will actually honour the Good Friday Agreement and allow for Northern Ireland's voice to be heard in the uh, Brexit discussions. Uh, the situation doesn't appear to be sustainable. The people of Northern Ireland, I think, deserve an end to the impasse and uh, to have a real say in any Brexit decision that will undoubtedly affect their future, given how they voted uh, against uh, leaving the European Union. Last April, um, the, we, we called uh, in the Labour Party for a Northern Ireland Citizens' Assembly to address the issues that are still causing trouble between the two parties. We found that useful for resolving very deep, very conflicted situations here in the Republic. I think that could be useful uh, and allow citizens' voices to uh, break the deadlock in Stormont. Um, Taoiseach, I know you're committed to exploring every avenue uh, to stop a no deal, uh, but will you commit uh, to uh, having a, 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 Nor a Northern Ireland Citizens' Assembly uh, to prop and propose the idea to the Northern parties and to the Northern Ireland Secretary of State? As I say, it's proven useful, uh, it's tremendously useful uh, in resolving a lot of very difficult uh, uh, situations here in the Republic. And I think similarly, it could be of great value in resolving the Brexit impasse in the North.